Dr. Crandall, today you gave a uh, talk about the complexities encountered as a surgeon with, with cataract surgery in glaucoma patients. Could you outline what, what you are expressing or trying to get across to, to the clinician? Yeah. So my talk really is the complexity of cataract surgery in patients with glaucoma. In classic training, you know, 20, 25 years ago, uh, glaucoma surgeons often didn't do cataracts. And I always felt that it was important because our patients are complicated that we become better surgeons, which means we have to keep up to date. We need to know how to do all the uh, new techniques and we need to be part of the innovation so that we, that we can do this. So in one big group is pseudoexfoliation. <clears throat> they often don't dilate well. Uh, the zonules are loose. There's late subluxations, and these these all are, you know, significant in, in the glaucoma community. Uh, traumatic glaucoma often they have zonular loss. So how do you how do you deal with that? And so that's my main message was okay. First of all, examine the patient, have a game plan, but you better have game plan A, B, C, D. And you should be able to do all of those. So like when I go to the operating room, I have uh, CTRs, I have modified CTRs, I have uh, capsular tension rings, and modified CLE variations of the capsular tension rings, um, and MST hooks to hold the uh, capsules. And um, these are things that are often not taught in, in residencies, and I think they should be. And so that's my, my message basically is that the, I think the glaucoma surgeon should be the best cataract surgeon in their group. Now, what would, what would you be your take-home message to basically uh, a clinician and for him, in either in his clinic or in his operating room? Well, I, my take-home, I hope, is that one, you should have, when you go to the operating room, you, you should have all of these tools ready for you. You don't want to be surprised when you get in there. These, the, the, these eyes that we treat are complicated eyes. They don't, again, they don't dilate well. They've got loose zonules. And you have to be prepared to do that. And so my message is make a game plan based on your examination very carefully. You know, look for asymmetry. Does the patient dilate or not dilate? You, you have to have iris hooks, malugan rings to, to do that. So when you get to the operating room, there's no surprises and there's no downtime. Oh, I need a CTR. The nurse has to go look for it. That's not good practice. So my thing is be prepared.